Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man Army of Two run, where we are trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with only two soldiers per mission. It's time for another Guerrilla Ops, and I've opted to go for the Protect the Device mission, which normally is suboptimal, but I think with all of the losses, there will be enough confusion created so we can actually pull it off. It's difficult despite there being only nine enemies, uh, so I'm almost certain that besides the Elite Spectre, the Viper, the Officer, the Trooper, and the Codex, by the way, two of uh, these enemies are uh, blue screen rounds, um, um, uh, vulnerable. I'm pretty sure that except these, we're going to run into the chosen one, which in this case would be the Warlock. In order to counter that, I've brought a nice little mind shield with me. Uh, Dragonova uh, probably is not the right person to go into this mission anyways, but if... Uh, well... Uh, am I going to switch? Because of the Warlock? Yeah, you know what? I don't want to deal with the Warlock. I don't want to deal with the Warlock. Oh wait, Renman is still wounded, so it's going to be Edgar, Alien Poe and Dragonover. The reason why I would pick her over the Assault in this case is whenever there are losses, there are a lot of cars, because fights against losses always happen in cities. And cars mean we have remote start ability uh, options, and that again means there can be more explosions, more explosions trigger shit uh, that the Warlock reacts to, and as long as the Warlock is in combat with something, he cannot uh, summon his, um, his stu stupid um, zombies. So our idea will be to find where the Warlock is as soon as possible, and swarm him with hundreds and hundreds of... Um, of loss and if possible the protect the device so, so the device should somewhat survive hopefully uh, we have many uh, weaker hitting enemies so vipers and um, and codices are not specifically known for their ability to hit pretty hard with their weapon so we might as well be able to protect the device for quite some time Interesting. Oh, wait, what? Look at that, guys. Oh my gosh. How is this even possible? Okay, wait a second. I'd like... Wait, wait, wait a second, please. I'd like to adore that. So, we're starting with two. The game gives us a percent chance of an XCOM... Um, an XCOM uh, soldier. And we got it. Plus, the game gives us a chance of... Um, Advent double agent and the game gives us that as well in all of the time playing XCOM This has never happened to me. It is literally the very first time That it has happened. So if I now fuck this up with four instead of two I do not deserve the title of I, will reposition. I don't know the title of Lord of uh, XCOM or the title of killing the game on the highest difficulty because this is no longer the highest difficulty the game has just made this mission way easier for us thank you game by the way it's only eight enemies because we stole one of the enemies right got it covered got it covered baby we've got it covered I am thinking about moving up all the way over here. Alternatively, this is not a bad spot, to be honest. Yeah, let's get there. Okay, we gotta hurry a bit.
Okay, let me get into position. The invaders send a patrol. The trap is set. Okay, we're positioning ourselves here. And this here should trigger all of them making us visible. Viper down. Two Vipers down. That here would be a good position. Unfortunately, we would trigger another enemy. Same for this position. Hmm. Yeah, let's get into cover over here. I don't want to trigger another pack. That's a little extra damage. And there's the Warlock, right? Heretic. Good. Reveals hidden units, so that means Dragonova has a problem against him, can summon um, the Chrysalids. Is gonna get kinetic plating for missed shots, immune to explosions, and we'll get defense every turn he is missed. The elders must have caught wind of our operation. They sent in one of the chosen. We should try to track that thing down and deal with it before it causes too much trouble. Time to hit and kill this guy. Nice little 14 critical strike. I like it. Need to be careful not to be spotted out, to be honest. This here should trigger, and they would come into our direction. Okay, we could go all the way up to here, I guess. Really want to get closer. Really want to get closer to this balcony here. So moving to here.
allows us theoretically to grapple over. Which is a really long grapple. But I like it. We got line of sight. That's good. Lightning hands. No position where we could hit both of them. Hmm. Interesting. Let's share a bit of the teamwork here. Again, we can't hit both of them. I think personally. The Spectre is the larger problem. So we're putting order. ourselves in here. Allows us to fan fire and kill this guy. Fan fire is such a good ability. Let's hit him. What is, is going to clone? That's okay. Because we can kill this codex here. I mean, it means effectively it hasn't cloned. We have just reduced its hit points from 13 to 2. Has he squatted us out? You have the smart, the others by using our ship against us. Now you have seen how eager the chosen are to end this shame. You've got the chosen in range. Let's take it out. Oh, wow. Four rounds being dazed. Not good. We need to get our people back on their feet, Commander. Okay, let's see. We can't get all the way up here. Well, we could. Well, we could, yeah. In short order. She has been spotted out, and that's okay. Because we want her to be the target of his abilities. I think you quickly come to find that I am no mere prey to the hired reaper. An unfortunate miss.
if we were to take a shot, that would be one, two, three, four, five hits. I think it is almost impossible to pass that uh, that opportunity up. So. Alright, half cover, oh, yeah. reload. All of them have tactical analysis, allowing effectively only one action. Marking is one action. Moving is also an action. Control the wrong guy. Okay, let's move up and see if we can kill some of these guys here. So much for the marking. Reload and uh, let's kill this trooper here. Worked like a charm. I think this here is one of the best positions where we could put ourselves in. His high cover is still preventing him from taking like serious damage. Serious an 80% hit. I just don't want Edgar Alien Poe to kill Dragonova, so I think we're taking Shadow here. Just so that she's not a good target. And let's go with Sting. Really? Okay. He's ignoring the others. One more round of mind control. Let us see the grand strategies of XCOM's fabled commander. I'm 
Okay, let's see. Banish. Hopefully shredding him. Okay, we're through his armor. That's the good news. Bad news is we're still not all the way done. More kinetic plating. Headed there now. Nice little um, flanking. Good. Took away the shield. He said 47 hit points. Mind control is ready next turn again, so we need to be careful. Okay. The fragile forms succumb to the perils of battle. Orders confirmed. On the move. Get up and get back out there. We are reviving him. Try uh, to kill this guy. Not good. So he has mind control again. We definitely do not want to be mind controlled by him. Which means when we're now taking our action, we need to make sure that we're out of uh, line of sight for, from him. What an odd choice of Wrath suit, okay. I mean, we could simply go to here. That'll be out of line of sight. Reload. Let's take a shot. Nice little blood trail, extra damage. And overwatch. In the hopes of provoking a shot from him. I did not think that that would have any real effect. And he's pulling off the Spectral Army. Which is, I think, two stun lances. Correction 3 stun lancers. Correction 4 stun lancers. Die for your hollow resistance. It will make no difference.
Yeah, I guess. We need line of sight. Placing the weapon. So let's start with blowing these guys here up. Okay. Next up, we need some sort of uh, face off to hit as many of them as possible. I think moving here and doing it is the right decision. Alright, one down. Two down. A couple more critically injured. Offering her as a potential target. And I guess... think that through. Dual strike is valuable and I would want to use it against the warlock. We could grapple up here, take a shot and kill him for sure. Or we're just saying the shot here, killing him for sure. He will stay in his spectral army until each of these guys here is dead. Yeah. Let's kill him. The only fate possible for aliens. Alright, that was not as much damage as I feared it would. That's also pretty okay. Could have been way worse. Let's start with hurting him. I'm ready. Target neutralized. So if we were to go up there. Hmm. I think we're, we wouldn't be able to see the Warlock anymore. Again, the Warlock would continue once every single uh, Spectral Army member is dead.
Okay, let's kill this guy. I guess we're shadow falling. Um, just to make sure Edgar is not a good target for any mind control. The loss of these subordinates is as meaningless to me as it is to you. I go where I am needed. It's Overwatch. We need to kill him definitely. Pretty soon, to be honest. The elders would never have you fight such a futile battle. There we go. Spectral army is done. One more turn until Fenfire. Outrider is mostly a immune against his attacks, so I think we're fine Moment for now. Position. Positioning ourselves quite well here. Nice little critical hit. It's good. You can kill him next turn. Might as well be able to kill him this turn. You have an idea. Dragonova goes into full cover just in case he pulls out his rifle and wants to start using it. Nice little hit. It wants advanced teamwork for another hit. And we're going to overwatch. We're out of actions, but next turn he is going to die. Mind control is very likely. Good. And this here seals the deal. Remember, they are not I need more ammunition. A bit of a messy mission, given that I had four. Okay, in all fairness, two of my soldiers were still pretty bad. But, yeah. It again shows how difficult the warlock is if you don't have the right classes. Excellent work, Commander. We may not have put them down for good, but at the very least we've held off the chosen for another day. For another day. Damn right, Bradford. For another day. We must never allow these dissidents to fill our hearts with the victory today is a minor footnote in history. A small bump on the path of salvation the elders have set forth for us. The deadly duo strikes again.
Hunters chosen are incredibly resilient. Despite and look at that. Altrana, finally, a colonel. And we're either taking the homing mine, which is a nice option. Or we take an inhalate, uh, which means we can continue firing once we kill someone with a banish. Hasn't happened really, but it's still a good option. I like the homing mine. I like the homing mine, um, mainly because in Highlight and Heliate uh, we haven't really killed anyone with it yet. It was always <coughs> just to weaken the enemies. And when we're using it, it's against enemies with like 50 plus hit points. So we're going for homing mine here. Nine points left over, and I think we can allow to take two from the XCOM pool. Because I like target definition, uh, the permanent visibility is very helpful. Hello, Commander. All right. Ninety-two intel is super helpful. Uh, there is the option for some more loot. Which, given that no one needs healing, we can actually continue looking board. into it. Our covert action with ambush. Yeah, and it was almost uh, foreseeable that we're going to run into an ambush, uh, because it was a high ambush chance. Uh, we equipped uh, the uh, soldiers so Hogward and Mitch Mitchell will have no problem with that ambush. I'm going to play that the next time. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the run. Uh, leave a comment and maybe if you feel like it, a like. Thank you and have a great day. Bye bye.